Hey everyone, this month in my creative journal, I decided to set up my October with a cactus theme. That's because I'm in Arizona right now and I thought, okay, inspired by my surroundings, I drew the cactus. So I started out with my pencil sketch first, just did the outlines of the cacti and in a planter. And you can see they're very simple shapes. Then I am using my Kelly Creates Fine Liner 1.0, the largest fine liner in the set of black fine liners. There's a set of six and this is the largest one. And I started at the top of each cactus and I just basically drew the lines coming downwards, those vertical lines. And I kept to some of the curves of the outside edges as well. But very quick and easy to do and you don't need to do a lot of um, tracing over. You can just freehand those lines. I decided to add prickles and instead of doing them all over the cacti, I went just along the edges. Kind of just a cute illustration. This isn't a botanical drawing or anything. It's not supposed to be super realistic, just kind of fun. And one thing I want to mention is if you look on the right edge of the first cactus, you will see the prickles are kind of slanted the wrong way. So just pay attention to that. And it looks better if you are consistent with the slanting of those little lines all the way upwards on an angle. I then use the Kelly Crates Black uh, Midnight Fine Tip Brush Pen. This is from the Deluxe Lettering Kit. It's also in the three pack of black and also in the multicolor small black brush pen set, which is different colors, but there is a black in that set as well. So I just did brush lettering and kind of a, a bouncy style. If you don't know how to use do brush lettering, you can use a sticker or a stamp uh, for my stamp sets, or you can practice with one of my workbooks. I added the calendar below. That's what I like to do, just have a quick month at a glance. and. Um, wrote the numbers in with the smaller fine liner of the three that I'm using today and that is the 0 3 uh, millimeter size. I looked at the planter and I thought I would add a little bit more dimension to it so I draw those extra lines and then I thought I, it needed a little bit more detail so I kind of just did this zigzag mountain type of pattern kind of I didn't I wanted to replicate like a Navajo theme but I didn't want to spend much time on it so I just did that little uh, jaggedy edge pattern on the bottom then I picked up my two brush pens nest and bark I am starting with the color nest this is from my metal set to write my quote and I apologize for my exposure changing constantly the Sun I was using natural lighting the Sun kept going behind the clouds so this uh, the color the lighting was changing so I'm just using a bouncy brush style I like to do that in my journal just to keep it more of a relaxed look and I don't have to worry too much about consistency you can see I moved over to the right on this because I am going to add uh, an element of a cactus on the left edge then I picked up my black fine tip midnight pen again uh, the brush pen. You could use just a black fine liner as well. I like to use a brush pen because I get some thicker lines in the with the shadows. And also, but if you don't if you're not familiar with brush pens, then I recommend you use just a black bullet tip pen or fine liner and not the brush pen because it can be tricky um, to create those thick and thin lines. There is my cactus element on the left edge. I just drew it this kind of half of a cactus. Um, similar to the ones on the right side and I drew some grass there and then I added the author's um, the quote author's name under the quote here with a fine liner I was looking at this and I thought hmm I needed to add a little bit more dimension so I picked up the bark brush pen. Again, this stream pen set comes in 10 colors. This is the meadow set with the bark and the nest, which are the brown colors. And I added that left side of darker color just so I could make those letters pop a little bit more. I just was playing around with the effect on a scrap piece of paper and I like the look of it. it just gives it a little bit extra dimension. 
They are both fresh tips on either end of this pen. So take your time and try not to uh, rush too much. I came back to my main page and I thought, do I leave it black and white? I always struggle with this part, or do I color it? And I just received from American Crafts this new watercolor set from Paper Fashion. And I thought, I'm going to add some watercolor for the first time. So I picked up this watercolor set. I'm not using too much water. So just be careful with the journal that you're using. And I was really happy actually with the results that my Kelly Crates Creative Journal did take uh, some watercolor and it dried afterwards with just you know a little bit of warping but not much. So I think I will do this technique again for sure because if you know me, I hate coloring. And so this is a really quick way to add some very pretty colors to your, your pages. Um, I decided to add color to the right side. So you can see in this set, it's a nice set for travel and it comes with the, the palette, an extra palette on the other side. It's below the, the screen, you can't see it. You can see also I didn't have it unwrapped all the little um, cakes there. So I hope to do that in the future. So here's a quick look at some of the supplies I used once again. I did my fine liner work well, my marker, black marker work with a couple of fine liners. Uh, the Kelly Creates uh, 1.0 and 03 and 08. These come in a set of six actually. And then I did my October lettering with my Kelly Creates black midnight fine tip pen. It's not a very thick pen. I also use this pen to add some shadow and dimension to my quote here. Uh, the quote I wrote with the dream pen in Nest. This is from the Meadow set, which is set two. There's another set that's called Rainbow. And then I added a darker brown on the left edges of the letters with Bark. And these two brown pens are from the Meadow Collection, the set of 10. Then I added a last minute idea. I have these new watercolors from Paper Fashion. So Paper Fashion, I'll just show you the label. Here it is. It's a new uh, watercolor line from American Crafts. Well, it's not that new, it's about nine months old. And um, I really like these watercolors, the pigments. What's nice is they're great for travel too. So this palette just folds out, it's, it stays there. And you can see I haven't used all the colors yet, but there's a nice assortment. I've been using some of these uh, for the cactus paintings I've been doing lately. So I just added very little water. So the pages, if they warp a little bit, I will just glue the next two pages together and not uh, worry about the warping, but they're pretty good. I'll just wait till they're dry and they should be fine. I didn't use a lot of water and the brush I used is a Princeton Round 3. So thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.